it like it worked. So the next thing for me to do is think about how wide I actually want this. As it sits for me just bending it over from outside to outside, we're looking at about four feet five inches. And the boards I bought are eight feet long because I was not sure if I wanted to go with four foot wide or six foot wide. This is a little taller than I think I need. Jennifer is going to be getting American guinea hogs for her birthday. so. I'm not having a, a huge market hog under here. And I'm thinking I might want to see how it looks if it were six foot wide. So let's pull it out a little bit and see what it looks like. Just going to lock my tape measure in here at about six feet and see if I can uh, manipulate this. I think that's a little too low. That's about five feet. I think I like five feet. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these boards for five feet and give that a go. All right, well, I learned that lesson the hard way. I thought it was gonna be more difficult to bend the cattle panel to an existing frame than to uh, build it the way I started doing here. But now the trouble I'm running into is, is getting the cattle panel to bend at just the right degree so that I can match up and square those two pieces of wood and get it screwed together. So what I'm going to do to try to fix the problem that I've already created for myself Rather than rip out all the staples and start from scratch, I'm going to cut my second board. I'm going to cut it to 47 inches. This back one is 60 inches from edge to edge, outside edge. And now I'm going to put this board on the inside edge. So I'm going to cut it to 47 inches and attach it to the front. And my hope is that that'll help hold the, the two pieces of the walls together so that I can get this back corner done a little easier. Well, here it is in all of its imperfection. I will again say that if I were to construct another one of these, I would build the frame first. I think that I'd be more willing to deal with trying to figure out how to bend everything correctly, than have to figure out how to get the two pieces of wood attached together now that they're attached to the flexible wire. So, lesson learned on that one. If you have built one of these before, then I would admonish you to please make a video or at least write up a blog post and several pictures about your process in building one. I tried researching plans for one of these and couldn't come across any. Either because people deem that it's such a simple thing that everybody would just know how to do it uh, instinctively or because not very many people are doing it. So if you've done one, put it out there because surely you've done a better job than I have. Right now this tarp is not attached. This is a tarp I had just laying around the property and it's way too big for this configuration. I'm gonna to have to get a different one and I'm also gonna take it down because let's just say it, it's a big blue flag in the middle of a brown forest and it's gonna give away my wife's birthday present. So here it is. All that said, it is portable. I can pick it up in the back and drag it on its front. I have plenty of little tiny stumps just sticking out just over the uh, surface of my uh, woods here and did not have any problems uh, easily getting over those so I think it, it got a check mark uh, in the positive for being portable which is one of the things we wanted to make sure of so that we can pasture the pigs around the property and not just in one set area so thank you all for watching feel free to offer your uh, laughs along with me on my uh, problems in trying to get this built down below or any suggestions you have or links to your own videos or blogs for other people to try to get a better reference on a better way to do this. Thank you all for watching. We'll bring you back when I've got little piglets running around. We'll see you next time.